Hi, friends. Fall has arrived, and many of our geraniums and pelargoniums have finished blooming. Some geraniums have grown long stems. Before working with geraniums, I always disinfect my tools, like the pruners. I cut the geraniums back very short, don't be afraid. I do this every fall. I trim all the branches, leaving just the stump. It's enough to leave two to four buds on the stump and new shoots will grow from them like this geranium here, which I trimmed just a week ago. After pruning, I make a natural fertilizer from cucumbers, which helps the plant wake up dormant buds. All you need is one third of a medium cucumber. Cucumbers contain important minerals like potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium, which support plant growth, improve root development, and enhance flowering. Grate the cucumber on a coarse grater. Pour one liter of warm water over it and let it sit for four hours. Be sure to strain the organic fertilizer to avoid rotting cucumber bits in your pots. After watering with the cucumber infusion, the geraniums will grow faster. For the cut geranium cuttings, I remove all the lower leaves. I also trim off the faded blooms. This way, I prepare the cuttings for rooting. For rooting geranium and pelargonium cuttings, I prepare a mix of two parts universal potting soil and one part perlite. This substrate allows good moisture and airflow, creating optimal conditions for rooting pelargonium cuttings. I moisten the soil mix so it's damp, but not soaked. Before planting, the cut ends of the cuttings need to dry slightly to prevent rotting. I place several cuttings in one container and put them in a bright, cool spot. For the second method of rooting geranium cuttings in water, I use one activated charcoal tablet, which prevents the water from going bad.
I place the cuttings in water and wait for roots to appear. This is a great way to rejuvenate older plants for future blooming and propagate new geranium and pelargonium bushes.